Adam's Film Reviews, Upgrade 2018. As a quadriplegic, it must be frustrating for you, someone who likes to get things done with their hands. Here's the thing four guys murdered my wife. If I could find these men, I'd do it. What if I told you I could offer you something that would enable you to walk again? I call it STEM. A computer chip that has the potential to change everything. It's a new, better brain. I am STEM. The system operating your body for you. Can anybody else hear you? No, only you. May I point something out? In the drone surveillance footage. Sir Brantner, Marine Corps, address 414 Citrus, New Ground. We'll need a plan. I got this. This doesn't seem like a well thought out plan. Help! I need your permission to operate independently. Permission granted! Thank you. Oh my god, file this one under films Adam should definitely have seen before. Upgrade is a cyberpunk action thriller, though some would also say body horror, film written and directed by the Invisible Man and Saw series Lee Wannell and produced by Blumhouse Productions. Upgrade stars Logan Marshall Green, a South Carolina knockoff of Tom Hardy, as Grey Trace, a tactile mechanic who loves to do things the old fashioned way and Melanie Palaho as Asher, Grey's far more modern and on-trend wife with a big fancy job in robotics. Oh, this isn't a film about today. This is a world of mile-high automated buildings lapped by advanced drones that monitor everyone on ground level, from passers-by to those driving robotic cars. It's by no means a horrible world. Think iRobot rather than Dread or Blade Runner. Well, it isn't at first, anyway. While driving home in Asher's self-driven automated car, Asher and Grey are shocked to find the car has taken a wrong turn, and is no longer taking commands, and is about to crash. Dragged from the car's eventual wreckage, Grey and Asher are confronted by a group of masked men, who force Grey to the ground and force him to watch as Asher is taken aside and shot by the group's leader, Fisk, played by Benedict Hardy. Before he's able to do anything, Grey is shot in the neck and crippled from the neck down as the gang flee the scene. Three months later, and we find Grey incarcerated in his wheelchair, surrounded by robots doing his every wish and command, the thing he hated the most. Despite their best efforts, the police, and notably Detective Cortez, played by Betty Gabriel, have been unable to track down the men who attacked Grey and his late wife. After a failed suicide attempt, yeah, Things get pretty dark. Grey is approached by a former client and computer expert, Eron Keen, played by Harrison Gilbertson. Eron has been working on something called STEM, a computer chip with limitless potential. Promising Grey that the STEM can allow Grey to walk again, Eron gives one condition that no one is to be let in on the secret of STEM, until it can be fully announced. Sure enough, once STEM is installed, Grey is able to walk, but not only walk, run. He's mobile, agile, and stronger than before. Interestingly, he also picks up a new style of walking, like that of a computer game character. Instantly, if you've never experimented with the idea of walking around your empty home in the style of a video game character, you're really missing out. The only problem is, STEM doesn't just let Grey walk again. STEM can talk, and STEM has some interesting thoughts on who might be behind Ash's death. Soon, Grey is on the trail of his wife's killers, hunting them down one at a time as we begin to see the bigger picture behind the seemingly random attack. But as Stem's powers appear to grow ever stronger, the question becomes, who is really in control of Grey's body? Upgrade, honestly, is incredible. Moments that might feel slow are extremely quickly overshadowed by slick, crisp action sequences that are draw-droppingly well shot, while simultaneously make you pump your fists in excitement and wanting to throw up. The growing shadow of doom that sits in the background too absolutely shows why director Wannell did such an incredible job with The Invisible Man. The cinematography is also worth a shout out with some incredible and bizarre visuals shining a light on the inorganic feeling of the main character. This is only ever boosted by the incredible and jarring soundtrack by Jed Palmer. 
Basically, I really love Upgrade. Line this up with a double bill with the guest, and you're in for an incredible evening of high action, wondrously over the top performances, and some incredible music to boot. Now, hurry up and watch your Netflix so I can talk to you about that ending. You didn't know that I'm a ninja. <clears throat> While I am state of the art, I am not a ninja. 